Dreddy. Let's introduce this young man into the stream. Good evening. Yeah. Whoa, look who it is. Good evening, everybody. Does this work? Good evening to you. Uh, great to see you, my friend. Please put that guitar away. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm jamming, I'm jamming for the whole day. I think it's time for, you know, for me to stop a little bit. So, no, I, I you. love the fact. Good to see you, man. I, I love the fact that you've got your guitar there. But you know what that means? Sometimes <laughs> yeah. that means that we that we have to maybe do a jam or whatever. But you know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's possible. Who's that? Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. We got. Let, let me just check these these comments coming in. Let's see if anybody. Uh... Oh look! Good gracious Hola. me! You can't hide. You can't Hola. hide this man. <laughs> <laughs> hola, 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 hola to Spain. Actually, I um I saw you uh, you know mentioning Barcelona, Barcelona. Actually, one of my favorite places as well. I love Barcelona. One of my favorite places to play. Incredible fans, incredible fans, incredible city, incredible food. And uh, yeah, let's hope we get better next year, David, and have some great shows and some great times. Yeah. Let yeah. me just mention this. I, I don't think I need to mention it. This is Marco Rent. And, um, unfortunately, he's not put his name up there. He had his name on there yesterday, I which think, is really I, cool. I think it is. There is. It's Marco Reed. It's, I think it's up there. Well, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Somewhere. <laughs> Mar I, yeah. But, but yeah. Marco Reed, anyway. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I always thought it was Marco Rent. No, no. It's it's some some people from the UK always get it wrong. They they either say right, Marco Wright, or they say re, re red or red or something like that. It's Marco Reed. It's Marco Reed. Marco it's Reed. Simple. See, read yeah, me yeah. would be R W D. You yeah, know, Michael Reed. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just Michael. Okay, Reed. you've got you've got the W in front, of course. Yeah, yeah. This is Marco. He's the new guitar player of Pink Cream Sixty Nine, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good gracious me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And we uh, we jammed last last year. Well, we have played together on stage, of course, but we jammed last year in the practice room as Pink Cream 69, and it was really just before the first lockdown. And uh, I traveled to, to Karlsruhe, and uh, we met up, actually, and we did a little photo session, and we did a practice session, and, and it was really great. And we knew in the back of our heads, we all knew there was something going down with the big C. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But we Started. didn't think it would. Yeah. yeah, we didn't think it would get as crazy as it as it did. Yeah. Let's get a few more of these uh, comments in here. Oh, yes, indeed. Hola, 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 hola. Good evening. This is a good chance to try out your uh, Spanish, my friend. Wow, Marco. <laughs> good evening, guys. Yeah, wow. Rizzy, Rizzy Rocket. This is the best name ever. Rizzy Rocket. Rizzy yeah, Rocket. Rizzy Rocket. Fantastic. A lovely lady. Fantastic. From uh, from the Ukraine, nice. and uh, we oh, uh, yeah, we got oh, another wow, Marco. Hello, is this is from Japan? From Japan, yeah, I believe. Yes, of course. Hey of man, course. we're in, hey, we're international tonight. You know, it's Which not is just uh, Which is fantastic. It's not. Yeah. It's not just it's not just mentioning Gladbach, you know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> which which is which is good, yeah. Hey, that's good as well. Oh yeah, Gracie, she knows you. She knows you. We can't hide you, man. Yeah, indeed. Good, anyway, that's good. that's a good thing. We we were on tour together with uh, yeah. Twenty One Octane. Yeah, that's true. That was in two thousand fourteen with you with Voodoo Circle. It was Twenty One Octane. Uh, Voodoo Circle and Uriah Heep, of course. That was, yes. that was one tour. That was one tour. But we did a couple of uh, single shows together with uh, 21 Octane and Pink Cream 69 as well. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's I remember true. that. That's true. So, so, so we met up. But I was talking before about the first time that we actually met. I know and it. I know it. I know it. See, in my mind, it was Masters of Rock. True. Do you know the year? 
Uh, well, I'm a bit older than you, you know, so my ah. memory's gone. No. I'd say, <laughs> I'd say, I'd say it's about 15 years ago, or something like that. It is 2010, so you're damn close. It was yep. 2007, um, and you just released Intensity, which I bought the first day it was released. And everybody at Bottom Row, our management, and bring them back then with, uh, I joined Axis, and uh, I was a big Pink Cream fan. I've always been a big, big uh, Pink Cream fan, all my life, actually, and I'm not kidding. Um, and I bought Intensity the first day it came out in 2007. And one of the guys, uh, Jan Bayati, uh, which I just met, of course, I was all shy because I was the new guy in Nexus and nobody knew me. And uh, I, I told everybody I got the new Pink Cream record, Intensity. And then uh, I met, you know, the, the manager from Pink Cream and Nexus, and he said, "Well, I could have given you like five CDs if you would have liked." And said, "What?" And I didn't believe it. So that was that was a interesting introduction into the business they say yeah you're you're not part of the whole thing you don't have to buy a pink cream cd anymore I said, but i did you know and well, that was very funny but i yeah i remember that well that was 2007 yeah yeah and i remember we we i think you were playing the same festival you were playing masters of rockwood axis i guess at the time yeah yeah and yeah. uh we met actually in the audience I, I was standing at the front there uh, watching another band, and then you came over and we had a quick chat, and that was it, really. The rest was history. Yeah. But, I mean, it must be really strange to be a fan of a band for so long yeah. and actually yeah. end up being on a, a picture. I mean, unfortunately, we, we, you know, obviously we're working on, on the record at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we're busy doing what we can, of course, considering the, yeah. the, the situation. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's unfortunate, but it must be, it must be strange. David, I tell you something, and this might, you know, interest some people uh, in the forum. Um, the first time I saw you live as a fan was in Wacken, 2000, 21 years ago. 21 years ago, and I was 15 years old. I started to listen to Pink Cream when I was 10, which was in 1994 when you uh, just joined the band, actually. And I saw it in Rock Hard magazine. My dad, you know, he read all the magazines. And uh, it was um, one of the one of the stories were about Pink Cream. Pink Cream 69 found a new member, blah, 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 and some new singer. And then, you know, one year later, you released Strange and, and so forth. But in 2000, back in 2000, Stratovarius played. And this, this story is incredible. Stratovarius played, and you played on a, on a different stage at the same time. Yeah, so I love I love yes. Strat I love Stradivarius, but I said, well, I have to split now. I have, after like two, 30 minutes, I moved to the other stage to watch you guys, and um, and you just played. Um, I think it was Lost in Illusions. This is when I got to your stage, and it was an incredible gig. I was 15 years old. We'll never forget. Totally, totally into the band. Loved Sonic Dynamite. I listened to Sonic Dynamite every every day, and uh, so <laughs> so. The end of the story is I, I love the show, but 11 years later, when I stepped in for Uwe the first time, yeah, it was we played with Stradivarius, Halloween, and of course we as Pink Cream Six Nine. So can you believe when I when Nick when Nick our manager called me and said, "Well, Uwe, he doesn't have time to do it. Can you do it?" I said, "Yeah," and then I I went for a walk and I thought about it. I said, "Jesus, this is crazy," like. 11 years ago, you went on the festival, you saw Stradivarius and Pink Cream 69. And you, what I was the amazing Pink Cream. Yeah, you see, somebody was there as well. That's that's so great. That's what a, what a great story. Yeah, and, she uh, was, yeah, Anaka, yeah, she was there. Yeah, Bakken, yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, this is crazy. Now you're sharing a light nightliner where you're sharing the bus with Stradivarius and Pink Cream 69, but you're part of the whole thing. That was like, that was crazy. That was. That was crazy for me, just to think about it, you know. Yeah, I'm, you know, I mean, when, when you think about it, you know, it, it's like it's going to happen, you know, like 11 years later, it's going to happen. But if somebody would have said to you on that gig, no, in 11 no. years, you, you would have said, yeah, you know, cause, yeah, right, you know. But, you know, I mean, obviously, you're a great guitar player, you're ambitious, and you you want to do stuff, of course. And you're going to find, exactly you're going to find, that, yeah, but that was, that was just an, an amazing moment. And, yeah, that was the first time I saw you guys. Two thousand, Sonic Dynamite, great.
great show. I, re I, re I remember back in the, I mean, we we traveled up to from, from Carlsruhe. I mean, it was probably quite a drive, like six, seven hours or something like long, that. Long drive, to, long drive. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we didn't have a nightline. We had a single uh, a bus, mm -hmm. and there was another band on the bus, actually, from Carlsruhe. Mm -hmm. Um, they also played on 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 Wacken. What were they called? Like a gothic type okay. of, of band, a bit a bit strange, dressed in black and all very <laughs> naked in, in, on the bus. So it was kind of it's kind of kind of a bit weird. Umbra Umbra et in Ah, I remember that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still they're still knocking about. So after the gig, we had no hotel, so we get back on this single uh, bus, right? And drive back to Karlsruhe overnight like this, like this in the thing. Ah, this, <laughs> this this kind of this kind of drive. I know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was, it was, it was nasty. It was nasty. But it reminds me of when I was in Brazil and I look at Anna, Anna Car. She took us. She brought us to Brazil. And we actually played on the first. Uh, I think it was the first time we went there. We played two shows. So the, the first show worked out fine, and the second one. We drove with uh, DC Cooper. We actually have a video with DC Cooper, Pink Cream 69. We drove all the way to the second gig. We got inside. There was no equipment, no stage, nothing. And then we drove back home to the hotel after about five, six hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> Same thing in a bus. Lots of it. And it's all on video. It's it's all incredible. We've got another comment here from uh, from from Sam. I have to use my glasses for this, unfortunately. Oh, this is one for you, Mark or man. Um, well, Sam, thanks for the question. We you know appreciate it. Um, but I always loved, uh, as I just said, I love Sonic Dynamite. I love Seeds of Madness. I love um, uh, Followed by the Moon, which is not in the set, unfortunately, at the moment. But maybe. At some point, we can snuggle it in, maybe. But uh, uh, well, um, hell's gone crazy. Snuggle. Hell's gone, yeah, hell's hell's gone crazy is the great play. What yeah. on the night, which has a great solo, uh, you know, thing. And yeah, uh, yeah, there are so many, so many great ones. And of course, uh, shame, shame. It's more like a a vocal you know more vocal influenced song obviously which is you know has so many hooks and one of the classics but it's just the atmosphere you know i have so many great memories with shame as well you know being 15 16 listening to to that one first girlfriend my first girlfriend loved pink cream 69 and she loved you know songs like shame and um spread your wings which was one of her favorite songs yeah. spread your wings yeah yeah, yeah. actually that that song i wrote it was a it was a faster version. It was uh, off into a place where every spirit has to go. It was a lot faster, and uh, Dennis suggested let's slow it down. Wow! Um, uh, and I was like, slow it down. He said, yeah, let's slow it down. It's a great song. It's a nice melody, and we 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 sort of uh, moved it into like a like a ballad, you could say. And, wow! Uh, check it out. We've got a, got a few few more comments in coming in here. Oh, <laughs> At oh, the bus. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i've i've seen her for 20 uh, 20 years it might be 20 years i don't know but we're we're in contact and she's been doing some amazing promotion for my upcoming uh, yeah. uh single in, okay. in brazil so absolutely incredible you guys have to <laughs> by the moon i agree i agree rocking yeah. cowgirl do you, you guys do you know who, who rocking cowgirl is I actually don't have any idea, but maybe I find out it, tonight. It's it's funny. It's funny because people come up with these names, you know, and then I'm like, "Hey, Rocking Cowgirls on tonight," and <laughs> you know, you, you you know these people, but you yeah. don't because you you know you say the name. So I'm just going to give you a, a few uh, uh, little tips here. Basically, Axis. Um, <laughs> okay, now T-shirts. T-shirts. <laughs> hey, don't forget, you're live. You're live tonight. <laughs> While you're thinking well, about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my body and do an advertisement for my for my t-shirt here. 
Very, very charming advertisement, sir. Very good. Well, uh, <laughs> we, we've had some great people, at, you know, at the Access Show selling T-shirts. We have also we had uh, Uva Ha. Oh, it's not a girl. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! You don't know her. You don't know. Okay, okay that's my okay. mistake. I, I, I really thought. Okay, that was that was later then, I guess, wasn't it? That was later. That okay, was a well, little later well, thing. Yeah, Uva. Uva was course, when the, the merchandise. He, the governor, of course, but Rocking Cowgirl, probably, you know, at some point, 2022 on a tour, we will meet each other. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I, yeah. She's, she's not doing it anymore, but she's doing some great work for my, uh, for my group, uh, David Reedman fans all over the world group. Uh, she's cool. called Jenny. Fantastic. Cool. And um, maybe you've met her somewhere along the line. A lovely lady. Fantastic. Uh, Mocha came after I left. Ah, she left the fan, uh, the fan club. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. The, the guys. To, ah, okay. So this is you. Okay. What's your favorite pink to, yeah. to play, Marco? Okay, again. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. As I said before, there are a couple, a couple. Uh, uh, you know, from from the newer ones, from the newer records. Uh, I also a wasted years great to play, but you know, break the silence. Oh my God, what a great riff! Break the silence. So many great ones. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, like I said, we jammed um, last year just before it all kicked off. It was so unfortunate. And let me just remind everybody that's listening tonight, we've got 23 people online. That's that's good. That's good. Don't forget Friday. We've got the same stream again. We'll, we'll be watching the video together. I possibly might have some another live guest. I think it's, it's, a, nice, it's a great thing to have a live guest. Absolutely. And uh, just real quick, just real quick. Marco did play with Pink Cream 69 when we supported Halloween. When was that, actually? Yeah. 2011. 2011. Yeah. Uber, Uber couldn't, Uber, Uber was expecting a baby. Yeah. So he, he couldn't do it. Marco jumped in. And uh, let's be honest, that, we did not practice. We didn't practice. We didn't even have a sound check. That was, it was <laughs> so, it was crazy. It was really crazy. So uh, I got I got the call like two weeks prior, you know, and from our management, you know, as I said earlier, Axis and and Pink Cream they have the same management, and uh, I'm not playing with Axis anymore, obviously, but uh, I played there for eight years, and um, and they 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 said, well, you, you probably know the songs that they because everybody knows that I'm a big Pink Cream fan for many years, and and uh, been in touch with the guys with Koffel and Costa and Dennis for. You know, for many years, and and uh, we did that. Uh, okay, another question. Absolutely love the energy between you both. We we'll look forward to nagging you all to bring Pink Cream Sixty Nine to UK and to fantastic. Yeah, I love the UK by the way, uh, as well. But you know, I could talk about the UK for one hour. How how much I love it. Um, so I I stepped in for Uber and it was great. And we didn't rehearse. I just got the set list, and uh, Dennis asked me so if. Do you need any help? Do you need any kind of video from Uber or whatever? I said, I think I can I can handle it because you know when I was 15, 16 in my bedroom, I tried to to uh, play you know the Sonic Dynamite and and Food for Thought and Electrified stuff. So so yeah, that was the first time we shared the stage together. They you know that's David true. And I. Yeah, we, we went on we went on stage that night. We had we had basically no sound yet. We hadn't rehearsed and we played the songs. Yeah, we Hamburg did it. And it's like when, yeah, 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 and we 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 played we played uh, like last year in a practice room, and it was kind of the same thing. You know, we mm. we we just we just played just played. It was kind of a fun thing. We would meet up and take some pictures yeah. and just jam through. And, and uh, yeah. you know, obviously we got uh, warm and basil on on base, of course. There has been quite a few changes in the lineup of, of Pink Cream Sixty Nine, and like uh, uh, Sarah said, just just real quick here. The month where we met, uh, where we met, of course, and I met a lot of people who are on online tonight. Uh, also, Kate. Um, I don't know if you've have you done cruise before. No, no, it will be my first. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. I've done a vlog on it, of course. Here, real, yeah. just had a bit of you know bits and bits of video and stuff. You you try and make a. You, sure. you make a video, but it's it's not possible to to really show exactly what what it really meant, you know. Yep. Uh, to be on one of these one of these cruises, you know. 
But I notice you had your guitar there. Um, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What could we jam real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before Give we before we sign off tonight. Well, as you know, there is a nice little song from the year. Hey, just give me a quick, give me a quick loo, then I can remember the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can you can you hear some of my guitar? I can't hear you. Yeah. 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 Doesn't work perfect. So what about this one? What about this one? I look through a window, just a man of mind flow. But then I saw a friend who was looking for a friend too. Spoke of a father, said he believed us. No obligations, but never let her fly away. Then I tried to convince her they'll be better. Day. Yeah, well, man, it, it kind of works. It kind of works, yeah, but you know, with the what, what about the the uh, verse of shame? Be my soul with different light and a rose <laughs> left in flight and the shadows faded to white in the night. Why should everybody yeah. Yeah. No. shame on you, shame on me? <laughs> Well, I, I, love your, I love your play, Mark. Welcome. To, well, this, you know, this is what we can do, you know, uh, tonight. But can't wait to see you guys at concert sometime soon. I, yeah. Yeah. Let's all, you know, stay healthy and take care of each other. And, and uh, we'll see each other again at some point again soon. And uh, let's hang in there and, and uh, hope to see you all, well, latest next year. Okay. Fantastic. Absolutely, man. Thank you once again for joining in tonight. I'm sure people have really enjoyed it. Well, I go over it. to go over to Marco's channel. Uh, yeah. You'll find him um, on 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 Facebook, on yeah. Yeah, on Facebook or, or on on YouTube. He's also got a fantastic channel there. A lot of guitar playing stuff. Go yeah. over, like, and subscribe on his channel. We're all trying to build something up in these difficult times and supporting each other in some shape or form. Um, and who knows? Even maybe even Marco might even play a bit of guitar on, on my record. Who knows if I'm a good boy <laughs> and I play my and I play my cards right, you know? But um, I would be delighted. Thank you so much. Be delighted, guys. I know you mentioned it. Have a great evening and uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you so bye much. Bye. bye, -bye. Adios. Ciao. There we are, Marco Reed for you guys.